Looking like a quarter lick. Hey guys, what's up? So as you know, I'm gonna be using that Best Light by Violet Voss. Right now, I already did my eyebrows, and I'm like gonna start. Oh, and I also put my what did I put? It's a concealer. I put on the concealer already on my eyes. I didn't use any eyeshadow primer, but I'm trying to test out like not using like you know eyeshadow primer and just using a concealer. So I'm gonna use that sunset eyeshadow um, for my for my base. So right there, I'm just like dabbing it. Dabbing it, dabbing it until I get that color. As you can see, I really like this palette because it, it's really pigmented. It it doesn't like take forever to get the color because as I right when I dab the brush and put it on my eyelid, it, it look the color comes out instantly. So as you seen right there, I had dabbed the color and now I'm blending it with my blending brush from Smashbox. I bought that Sm Smashbox um, set from Macy's. Uh, they, I believe they still have it. Sometimes they, they like have sales for those but I'll put the link under so you guys can know which brushes are those exactly. So right now I'm blending that eyeshadow with a blending brush so it won't be a, so I won't have a harsh crease. Now that I blend it, I'm gonna use the um, another eyeshadow and I'm gonna use my finger with it because the Violet Vaz Best Life eyeshadow palette, like the glitters. Like, they're so pigmented, you could even use your finger. Like, I really like this palette. It was worth the $49 that I paid for it. $49 plus tax. <laughs> but, yeah, look. So, I'm going to be using my finger. And I got this technique that I watched from this girl's other video. Like, this whole video is inspired from this other girl's video that I seen. Uh, she chose these colors and I thought oh shoot let me try this look so now that I and she even used her finger that's what made me want to use the finger but now that I use my finger now I got my blending brush and I used that same color and I started um, the sunset color I started like blending it so it, you won't see a harsh crease of the glitter blending into the matte eyeshadow and now I'm gonna go in and put my white eyeshadow on my where my where my eyebrow line is at because I like my eyeshadow like really blended. I don't like my eyeshadow to reach all the way to the top of my eyebrow. Like I don't like that. I like a, a division right there. So right now I'm using the purple eyeshadow from um, Violet Voss Best Life. Um, I believe it's called, I forgot what it was called, but it's the only purple one in there. And I'm using the, the blue one. Oh my god, I forgot all the names of the, of the eyeshadow palette, but one second. So that blue one was called Desserts. And the that glitter that I put on my eye on my bottom eyelid uh, is called Friends. So um the girl that I watched her video, she used um just that that light that light blue and the, the dark blue desserts, but I I'm gonna change it up. And I use the purple and blue one from the Violet, the Violet Vaz Best Life palette. So, when you're putting on your eyeshadow, don't get discouraged when it looks like 
it looks like you know like what the hell is happening here it's like at the end it looks glamorous and stuff when you're like completely done in the beginning it looks like funny but you know like at, over time when you're doing it it's gonna look better and better like at the end the end results you fix all the imperfections and stuff so right now um from the violet voss the the friends the friends little eyeshadow it's really glittery but i like super super glittery eyeshadow like i like my eyeshadow like like then i'm gonna blind you <laughs> if you look into my eye my glitter eye glitter <laughs> So I'm gonna use that Too Faced glue to put on some MAC um, glitter. Um, it's a little MAC glitter. I don't know what to call it, but it's the gold one from MAC. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys already, but I think I did. Look, and now that the glitters, the glitter glue's on, I'm just like using my my Smashbox brush. Like you can use any brush. And just dip it in your glitter and just dab it on there. Don't smooth it because that's not how it works. You gotta dab the glitter on there. Oh, look. So now I'm going back to get the sunset eyeshadow from Violet Vost Best Life so I could like smooth, like blend in that glitter to the other, to my other eyeshadow so I, you won't see a harsh crease. Now I'm going to go into my other eye and I'm just dabbing the glitter. Just dabbing it. Don't smooth it because when you smooth the glitter on, like instead of dabbing it, it takes off the eyeshadow. So now you just dab it with, with the, put your brush in the glitter and dab it like you see me doing it on the video. And you see, it's the glitter, the glitter glue from from Too Faced oh and again I told you guys in my other video that MAC oh look I'm gonna go get that sunset eyeshadow again and I'm gonna go blend in that harsh crease that you see over that separates the glitter and the the matte eyeshadow you know yesterday I worked this makeup because yesterday I did this video but today I'm editing it and stuff I got so many compliments on my makeup I would go to Target and everything and everybody would be like oh my god your eyeshadow is so cute <laughs> and you know that's cute that's what that's why you do your makeup so you can feel bomb but oh yeah what I was saying oh yeah that MAC well right now you see me blending so blending I'm gonna blend the crease and all that but you see that MAC thing that I'm holding like all of you guys buy mac makeup collect all everything from mac anything you buy from mac collect it and if you turn in six used containers you get a free lipstick so that i'm not using mac make foundation right now but i'm just using that as a mirror right now i'm just using a makeup remover wipe to take off all that all that of makeup that fell eyeshadow that fell under the eyes and stuff but you know what I don't know if I like that because it probably took off all my moisturizer and as you can see I had to put concealer on all my like scars that I have on my face and right now my my scars are healing because I used to have acne to all my acne girls out there that are healing I don't like to say oh Oh, I have acne skin you have to say healing from acne skin because I believe in like words manifest you know like you gotta say my my face is healing you can't say like damn my, my face is like not you know just don't talk bad about your face because like dang you're the one that got to live with you you know <laughs> all right so now that I'm done I'm actually done with my eyeshadow um Now I'm gonna go in into my eyeliner. So now I'm just blending it because I hate not blended eyeshadow. Like to do all this, you have to wake up really early. 
I'm just using that Revlon eyeliner. It's pretty good, but it's not the best. I'm really in love with the Kate Von D musk um, eyeliner. But then last time I went to Hollywood, I like went shopping to Sephora, and I partied so hard. Like first we we had our like party outfits on, right? And and keep in mind I'm on Hollywood Boulevard, like so there's a Sephora on on Hollywood and Highland, and I just popped in there like. You know, I'm just gonna, I was like, man, I'm just gonna buy my eyeliner and then this mascara. I forgot what brand it was. Girl, I bought it. And me and my good friend got so drunk, I ended up losing my little bag that day. I was so sad the next day. But anyways, I'll get it again. But as you can see, uh, I'm doing this eyeliner, and it. I feel like it does matter what type of eyeliner you buy because I haven't found one that's like super bomb. I know the Kate Von D one was super bomb. That's why I was trying to buy it, but I lost it. When you, when you wear glitter, you remember how I dabbed on that glitter? You have to put a lot of eyeliner on so it could sink in through the glitter because the glitter makes it hard for you to even make a straight line. So try to, when you're using, putting on glitter and eyeliner, you gotta like, dab that dab the eyeliner so it won't look so bad so now I'm using my Lancome mascara this Lancome mascara is really really good I got a sample of it because I wanted to test it out first I think the sample costs like 13 bucks because that's what I do. I buy the, the little ones first. And if I like it, I'll buy the big one. When you put on your mascara before your eyelashes, it really brings out your fake eyelashes that you're about to put on. So right now, I have no type of makeup on my face. Except for that concealer that you see on my cheek. That it's straight, not blended. Um, because I I don't put the makeup on before my eyeshadow because because the eyeshadow falls off and I feel like when you have the makeup on when you have the makeup on um I don't know I'm looking at this video and maybe that 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 um what's it called that foundation is probably not even my color it looks like olive and my face looks pink it looks good at the end though i like it so now i'm just going in oh i got my nyx um eyeshadow palette from target i really like that eyeshadow palette because it's really bright and it's really cheap you could get it for like i forgot like 20 bucks or 15 i don't know 13 i don't know it was really cheap though but I like this color because it's really bright, These this palette. I forgot what it was called. But I'll put it on the link what it was called. But I went back and used my NYX palette so it, I could have a brighter eye on the bottom. Because for me, I've noticed that I like my, since I have a, I dyed my hair black, um, I, um, bright colors look really nice with dark hair. Like, really nice and you see guys um i i started to get um chemical peels because you guys see like my i don't have an even skin tone uh no not skin tone oh well, yeah even skin tone or um a smooth um complexion and it started really helping out my chemical peels but since i went to hollywood last time i missed my last appointment it was gonna be my third one so you know what i'm gonna call today so i can make another chemical peel because if you guys are watching this and you guys got acne skin you guys need to start getting chemical peels or i don't know how bad your acne is you guys should talk to your dermatologist but mine's calmed down a lot and i was able to get chemical peels so look, this little trick right here that I'm doing, I'm reusing these eyelashes. Instead of pulling pulling off 
your eyelash glue of your eyelashes you should just clip it off with some scissors because have you noticed that every time you pull off that glue from the eyelashes it um it sometimes rips the eyelashes especially if they're like cheap eyelashes like the ones that i'm using they're cheap but they're bomb they're from those are from target Elure. those are Elure. they only cost me 5.99 and but they look really nice they look like you know it's just i just think it depends how you do your makeup how you do your makeup is how your eyelashes are gonna look or even if you do buy it like like even if you're you don't have no makeup on and your eyelashes and you put on some eyelashes it doesn't even matter like your eyelashes change your whole look and your whole everything so oh yeah so just clip off the glue of the eyelashes with scissors so they could be like stick on better um you see how my lips look look softer from other videos what i've been doing is i've been putting a lot of moisture on them and i kind of like lay low for matte chaps mac lipsticks because matte lipsticks make your lips really dry and this kind of i don't know what the hell right now like i don't know what happened to my eyelash and i'm looking for it <laughs> it had a fell off i don't know i was thinking too much at the time so it ended up being on the floor i don't know how Oh yeah, what was I saying? Oh yeah, my my lips. So I oh yeah my the matte lipsticks make your lips really dry. So what I've been doing, I've been getting brown sugar in the mornings because I watched this Kylie Jenner video and she's like, oh, every morning I do this and this and that, and I get sugar and honey and exfoliate my lips every morning. And I'm like, every morning, hold up. I need to do the same thing too. Like, so I started exfoliating. It's been three days. I've been exfoliating my, my lips with, with just sugar. I need to buy that honey. You know what? I'm at the store every day and I just forget to buy the honey. I forget to buy a lot of things. But anyways, yeah, I've been exfoliating my lips. That's why they, they look more smoother and stuff and if you guys have that acne skin and you guys are on Accutane um you know like maybe exfoliating your lips with ask your dermatologist first cause I don't wanna get sued but um uh, what's it called exfoliate your lips with sugar and honey right now I'm using that infl inflammable 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 concealer from l'oreal and dang that stuff works oh my god i can't believe how much it works like for real like it's right there i'm holding it in my hand i didn't even show you guys but look how it covered up my bags like right there when i was doing makeup i think i woke up like at five in the morning that day because you know i'll be waking up early because i'd be trying to get things done um right now i'm using that powdering my face with a Sephora powder I don't really like the Sephora powder to be honest like the lady like recommend I was just going in there to see what I was gonna like and she's like oh look you should get this look how it looks and she put it on me and it looked good in there but I, when I left the Sephora um, powder like it started cracking on me and I noticed it was the powder because I would just use my foundation from hourglass that you, you see me put on there I'll just use that and my face looked it fine and silky and then when I put those like days what I'll put the days that I would put the Sephora powder my my makeup it cracks but like I hate when my face is all oily and shiny so I had to use it so I need to buy another one but yeah, I went in there and I uh, used that Lancome tester. It was not a tester, it was a sample size for my bottom eyelashes. I love that Lancome mascara, it's bomb. I don't even know the name of it. I'll put the link at the bottom. 
Oh, and I like curling my eyelashes. Because at first, I used to think there was no, like, reason to curl your fake eyelashes. It's because I've never had to curl my eyelashes. Because my real eyelashes are really curly already. Not really curly, but they're curled. So, I've never... Yeah, I never had to buy a curler. So, but I started seeing, like, people curl their fake eyelashes because you know some eyelashes do come just really straight especially the mink eyelashes they just come really straight not the fake these fake eyelashes that i have on here they're like what synthetic hair um because they're only 5.99 of course they always come curled but i've noticed that the pink the mink ones they come just straight and i think i look like you guys ever watch the the emperor's new group that lady that old lady that is trying to like kill the king i think when i wear them i look like her <laughs> when when eyelashes are not curled i feel like i look like that lady i forgot what good what was her name i forgot what was her name if you guys know her name put her in the comments because i don't be knowing her name but look this is my finished result oops that was my finished result but look now i'm gonna straighten my hair because my hair is naturally curly and you know um my hair is ready f to not be straightened anymore and just to be wearing it curly my hair is like um it it's like loose curls like loose curls it's not like kinky kinky or anything like that um but I like how I look on my hair straight, but everybody, like, is, we're, we're weird. Like, girls that have straight hair want curly hair, girls that have straight hair. No, girls that have curly hair want straight hair. I don't know. I like my curls, but I just can't find any products to, to use that is going to make me look good. But look, this is the finished result, guys. I'm showing off my nails, because you know, guys, you know, I do do nails finished result and that is in the light i'm in an uber right now well thank you guys for watching my video please subscribe and don't forget to like and comment on this video thank you